Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I have a little secret to tell y'all. So first and foremost, I've been working behind the scenes with a company by the name of Rose Forever. And they gave me the opportunity to have one of their products that they offer. So I picked out the black velvet box with white roses and they are absolutely stinking beautiful. They're amazing. So if you guys are looking to buy something for someone else or for yourself or just looking for a touch of different decor, then this is it right here. They've been around since 2019 and their goal was to design luxurious rose boxes that last over a year. So no work is needed in taking care of these roses. They last a year and they come in different colors. A few of them being violet, purple, black, royal blue, and the list goes on. There are so many options. I even seen acrylic box with roses, so that could be an option for you if that's what you like. So the coupon code will be across the screen, HSA25 to get $25 off your purchase, and it will be in the description box below. So yeah, hopefully you guys do go ahead and purchase because they are absolutely amazing i enjoy them and i know you guys will too so go ahead and take advantage of that 25 dollars off your purchase and and we'll get back into the reading hey virgos welcome and welcome back to the channel so as you guys have seen in the first little bit of the video yes guys I collaborated with Rose Forever. And again, thank you guys so much from Rose Forever for choosing me to collaborate. I hope that I get the opportunity to collaborate again. If possible, it was a pleasure working with you and I absolutely love the roses. So now we're gonna get into the read here. Okay, this will be for July 4th. You guys are so amazing. To all my subscribers and to those of you guys that are new here, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and just staying consistent with, you know, communicating with me through the comment section. I really do appreciate you guys. If it wasn't for you all and the support, this wouldn't be possible and then giving my gifts and talents or sharing them with you guys makes it so much more worthwhile so thank you guys so much you guys are just loving the last read that i did for july 3rd you guys are just eating it up so we're gonna carry on with july 4th as i said before there is going to be a coupon code for the roses 25 dollars off your purchase so go ahead and uh, get your roses here, okay? So what do we have for Virgo here? Sun, moon, Venus rising, north road. I'm getting that something's going to be cracked open. Something is going to be decoded. You figured something out, okay? You will be crowned, all right? So let's see what we have here for Virgo, please. For Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know for July 4th? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Whoa. All right. So we're going to start with the bottom of the deck. So a wish will be granted. There's something that you could be wanting or hoping for you could have been manifesting here so that wish will be granted all right let's see what we got here we have haystack grasshopper vine bear apple success clouds bowl career and lily so Virgos, there's a lot going on for July 3rd. I'm seeing here that something is going to be successful in your career. I feel like you're going to find out some information that you've been hoping to have answered. I'm seeing here that there will be some type of spiritual love 
or there will be a spiritual connection that you will be tempted on here. I'm getting do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. I don't think that's going to be a problem here. Because Virgos don't get bossed around. We are the bosses, okay? Period. We have grasshoppers. So there's situations in the balance that require careful handling. So in regards to the spiritual love or spiritual connection, I'm getting don't get too finicky. Be careful. You have temporary problems, bear, danger, especially in money matters. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. So if you've done good, then the universe will give you back great things. If you've done bad, then you know what your fate is here. So we're going to take a look at why the bear is here. Danger, especially in money matters, but it's temporary problems. Let's see why this bear is here for Virgo for July 3rd. I'm getting the Eight of Swords. Okay, so someone here is feeling like they're being forced to uh, work to pay off something. Someone feels bound to being committed to paying off something here. Yeah, someone just wants to forget about it. Yeah. Someone just wants that problem to go away. So someone's gonna be working overtime to pay something off here. This one wanted to flip over. We have the Page of Swords. I'm getting that someone sees how much uh, I don't know what the word is to use. Someone sees how uh, ambitious you are. You might even get a raise. Look at that, just in time. Yeah, this is what's gonna make other people jealous. Yep, don't give up, Virgo. Don't give up. And don't let anybody intimidate you because they feel intimidated. It is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> the tower. You're going to come into knowing that someone here that's younger than you wants you to get pulled back. All right. So let's see. That's why it says do not back down from opposition. Show strength. So yeah, someone's trying to create some issues for you. Someone doesn't want you to uh, get that raise. And it seems like it's coming in a short period of time. Someone's going to see that as like a threat here. Like this girl or this guy came in not too long ago. And now this person is getting a raise. Like how dare Virgo. Let's see what else we got for Virgo here. July 4th for Virgo. Ooh, we have new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Some good cards here, Virgo. What else for Virgo, please? Okay. few cards let's see what we got here we have the fair man shield egg march eagle basket and sunrise those were the two cards that popped up first okay so I'm seeing here that you may need to defend yourself because someone here is going to be jealous as soon as you start this job or whatever it is that you're going to be focusing, whatever new ventures you have. 
yes someone's gonna feel very very upset because you're getting opportunities that they were waiting for and they've been there before you all right some of you may have this dagger energy some fear or worries that's creating some tense situations for you here but I'm getting that you're gonna be getting recognition as I said someone's watching you and they like the way that you move they like your ambitious energy okay we have success assured with good plans and hard work exactly look triumph over troubles obstacles whatever it is that you're worried about spirit is going to have this diffused we have a fair man so some of you are going to come into meeting someone at this time period or in this month it's a fair man here that has blonde gray or white hair okay so you're walking into money opportunities and jealous people it looks like all right so i'm also going to be putting this off to the side just to see what else is going on here let's see where it goes Don't let someone here let you lose concentration. Stay focused. Stay in the game. All right. So Virgos, what do we have for July 4th, please? Holy Spirit, give us some clear and concise messages for Virgo. What is it that we need to know? So you're going to be booked and busy, Virgo. Either work, school, or some duties that you have that you need to tend to. I'm seeing that it can't be all hard work and no play. So you may be introduced or invited to a house party. Okay? So some of you may be celebrating here or going out. shortly in a relationship with someone that has facial hair someone could be hating on the fact that you are going to be taken or about to be taken i'm getting that someone here that has facial hair that wants to make it official could make you anxious or they're anxious about giving you this uh title here yeah i'm getting that whoever this is that's judging you or jealous of you is projecting Okay, they're projecting their energy onto you. And we have definitely a yes. So you're, you're going to be in a newfound relationship real soon here. Maybe after going to this party, who knows? All right, Virgos. We're going to get into this reading. So let's see what we got here for Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus rising, north node. What is here for Virgo July 4th? July 4th, please, for Virgo. Okay, so we got the five of cups, the lovers. I'm getting that someone here is moving a way to have options. Someone here is climbing out of a, a, a situation, a relationship with a Cancer here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm getting something's hidden. Something's hidden from the person that they're separated from that led to a ending, okay? Someone's good on that. I'm here and I'm, I'm good on that. I'm actually happy things ended the way that they did. Someone may be moving on to a new lover. There's an end of a cycle. Yeah, we have the world. 
there's some unfinished business around you, Virgo. I'm seeing that someone feels like, you know, they didn't get it another chance or a chance to get a chance. <laughs> Six of Swords. Yeah, someone's coming back around here that left. Queen of Cups. Yeah. Someone's soft side is coming out and they never expected it to. I don't know if this is you or your person here. Someone may show up unexpectedly at your home. I just seen four of wands. Someone could be lingering around your home, so be careful, have your doors locked. We have the hanged man in reverse. Yeah, someone's hung up on you. They're not finished here, King of Cups. They've been avoiding their emotions. Yeah, this person has a big ego. Beyonce song ego, King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somewhat a bad boy. We have the King of Swords. This is someone that kind of makes head over heart decisions. Someone's being impulsive when it comes to a decision or feels like they let you go due to an impulsive decision that they made here. Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing the grass was definitely not greener. All right. Yeah, this person doesn't know what to do. They're in their head about this. Yeah. They moved out of a third party's home. But in a relationship here, they're content. This person has thought about texting you, but they've held back or they've deleted messages they wanted to send to you here. This person's like... This person's slowly taking their time. They feel stuck though, because they don't know what decision to make and stand on it. If you haven't seen my other channel where I did do a fire sign read, go ahead and check that out. I did upload one today. That is Majestic Intuitive Passage. Go ahead and check that out. Yeah. Someone has some very, very strong codependencies to you, Virgo. Someone feels indifferent, inadequate when it comes to, to the connection between you and them. We have the Three of Wands. Yeah, they're looking for some forward movement. Yeah, they want to come to your home. Or they haven't seen you since they've been at your home the last time. Yeah. This person's been lingering around your, your complex or your home here. We have the Knight of Wands. So someone here is upset or agitated because they're not happy. Something could have happened where there was some type of infidelity that caused an argument here. Um, I'm getting some online feuds or something that may have happened through text message. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles here. Some of you are dealing with a air sign, a cancer, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's this Knight of Wands here? What's this Knight of Wands in reverse for Virgo for July 4th? We have the chariot, another cancer energy. So someone is upset or agitated about or f with the cancer person that they're dealing with because they're um, deflecting or not allowing this fire sign to leave the home, okay? This person is looking for stability. They want a stabilized situation. Yeah, I feel like you're their home. And that's so funny. The same message came out in the fire sign read. For some of you that are dealing with the fire sign or this person could have fire sign in their chart if they're not an actual fire sign here. But I'm getting that this person feels like you are their safe haven, okay? You are their happy place. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. Someone is not happy in the situation or person that they're living with here. I keep getting Four of Wands. So the person that they're staying with. 
eight of wands. Something took a backpedal. Someone's realizing that it's causing them more pain to be without you than with you. It wasn't so bad on the other end. Eight of cups. Someone's avoiding having to leave, maybe because they're dealing with someone that's very uh, inadequate emotionally. Yeah, this person's trying to take charge, but delaying some type of new beginning because they have to let go of something first. We have the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone here is watching, okay? Virgo, this person is watching you because that's all they can do. They can't really approach you on anything right now. They can't give you a definite answer to anything because they also don't know. They're in their head about this. Three of Swords. Yeah, they're brokenhearted, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone could be brokenhearted about something that they found online. Yeah, but they're trying to remain strong because they are someone that shouldn't show emotions. It makes them look weak. Yeah, I'm getting here. Someone's trying to strategize because they've come into knowing that you are the Empress is what I see here. Okay? You are someone that they should have invested in. Somebody chose wrong. Show me more here for Virgo, please. We have the star card. Yeah, you are the star. And they're starting to realize that, that you are the person that they should have been with or uh, took the time to work on things with here. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person sees you taking care of yourself. You're very... Um, you have this graceful energy about you. I don't know why I'm getting that that uh that graceful energy you know like just walking on water it's like you make things look so easy now you just have this different aura about you here yeah this person feels like you're, you're trying out other options or you're hiding something because you're moving different you look different it's like this person thinks that you are just wow yeah, I feel like because of the distance, they feel like you've moved on, King of Pentacles, and this is causing them to get into some real messed up shit. I'm getting here that this person is just off the rails here. Yeah, things have changed. Even this person's temperament, they become more agitated, angry, more than they've been with you. Can we get one more? So we have four of wands. Wow, so this person wants to have this reunion. Someone here wants to come home. Someone wants to be home. They feel like your home is their home, that you are their safe haven here. Yeah, I'm getting that this person has to let go of this third party connection to get towards you. So <laughs> this person could have been juggling as well here, but they wanna create these changes so that you guys can be together. Let's see what else we have here for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know? For July 4th, for Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, Node. So I'm seeing here that Spirit is saying that you should release your ex or this is something that you've already done or need to do. The time has come to clear your energy because guess what? There's something else coming in for you and it's an engagement. It's an... Uh, uh, level up to commitment that you didn't get from this person. We have passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Let's get one more. We have forgiving and learning. Perfect card to have because without forgiving yourself, this person, you're never going to be able to get good karma, you're never going to be able to move forward. So you need to release your ex, but not only that, you need to forgive yourself so that you can heal from your past here. All right? So let's see what this person wants to tell you. What is it that you need to know? For Virgo, July 4th. 
This person wants to be more than friends and here you go releasing them. <laughs> I wish I could take back my words. This person wasn't nice to you. They said some things to you that, that they can't take back. I wonder if you are happy without me. Because this person still has passionate energy or connections to you. Show me more. Wow. We have three cards that came out. The timing just wasn't right for us. You speak to me through music. So you guys are definitely connecting through music. You could have some type of music background. The both of you could mutually here. We both know I am not the one for you. So this person doesn't feel like they're good enough. They feel guilty for what they've done, as they should. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have, I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay, so they're trying to keep themselves busy so that they don't have to worry about uh, coming towards you or, or bothering you here. So let's see what's going on in your love life, Virgo, for July 4th. What do we have here for Virgo? So someone here is heartbroken. This could be you here. You could be still holding on to, you know, very uh, heartfelt memories that you have that is now gone. Or this could be this person here. Take it how it resonates. We have lightning. So there's going to be some type of sudden change, shocking news here. I feel like this person's mirroring your energy and that's what's bringing them closer towards you spiritually. What else do we need to know for Virgo? July 4th for Virgo, please. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, node. Okay, so we have the runner. So remember when they were the runner? Now you are showing up as the runner. I'm getting for some of you here, you are connecting with other people because you're trying to replace this person or not think so much about them or are using other people to move on. Or maybe this is this person's energy, okay? So I see that you guys will be uh, making healthy choices in love and in life now. I feel like this was a lesson, Virgo. This person that you were with and you've closed out a cycle with, they've taught you a valuable lesson. And you're just focusing on yourself. Let's see what else we got here cooking for Virgo. What is the spiritual animal for this daily read for July 4th for Virgo? July 4th for Virgo, please. What is Virgo's spiritual animal? Okay, so we have match. And I think we've got this before. It says, where do I give and receive? Here we have a element, a spiritual element, which is the butterfly milkweed. At the bottom of the deck, we have climb. So you need to help yourself so that others can help around you. So I'm hearing climb. If there's something that you want, you need to be able to get it here. Let's see. What else do we have for these majestic messages? I want to move through this real quick. What do we have here? So... Here's what Spirit is saying to you, that you're going to beat this person at their own game, okay? Because you've closed the door on this connection. You found a way out. You're leaving the past behind and onto this new beginning. You're not allowing that succubus energy to drain you of your energy anymore, okay? So we have late night phone calls. Some of you may be finding out that this person has been talking to other people, Okay, or this is this person trying to find out what's going on with you. And it's so funny that this came out because the other day I was making breakfast or I was actually making coffee and 
I was thinking of some call interceptions. Someone's trying to tap your phone or um, listen in on conversations here or walk by to, to hear what's going on in your home. So be very wary of things going on around you. All right. Oh, we have repetition. If this person comes back, it's going to be the same old, same old. It's going to be the same old bullshit. And their corrupted energy is going to give you some type of sleep paralysis here where you have night terrors, worries, and fears. Because this is all this person creates for you. Or this is something that they've been going through since the breakup. What else do we have here? We have Jealous X wants you back. Look at that. But you need to beat them at their own game. Okay? This person could have a sexual addiction or is a bona fide freak. This person wants to turn you out. We have re remorse and selective memory. So I'm getting here that someone is... Someone feels like, why should I be sorry for something that I don't remember or I don't recall? So how can I be sorry for something that I don't remember saying or doing here? Yeah, they're looking for receipts. I'm hearing like, when did I say that? What time did I say that? Or when did I do this? What time did I do this here? Oh, we have baby mama, baby daddy. So this person is going to keep going back towards their baby mama or their baby daddy here, okay? Someone is trying to stop your success, and it could be this person. Take it as it resonates. Reverse the roles. There could be a bitter baby mama that's trying to figure out what you've done, how you've accomplished it so that they can stop you. But that's never going to happen here, okay? Can you give me one more for Virgo? July 4th for Virgo. Yeah. Spirit is telling you not to make any reckless decisions or behave recklessly. We have a retired older man and credit card fraud. Be very careful of who you give your, uh, your card to. Be aware of who's behind you, around you, beside you, because there are people that are trying to, you know, take you for all your worth, okay? All right, Virgo. Let's get some more tea for you all. What is it that we need to know at this time? So we have creative art. Someone here is gifted. Someone has put something on the back burner that they are gifted with or for, okay? I'm getting here someone is out of the dating scene. The more that you are in the spotlight, you're gonna have people having eyes on you. But there is one person that has this energy of just wanting to have fun, hooking up. So we have Uber and figuring it out. I'm getting that this person may not drive or not have their vehicle, but they want to figure it out. They want to show you that they're being completely authentic. What else do we have here? Oh, so we have green light. Green light means go. So I'm getting here that if something keeps happening too many times, you're ready to just leave the situation. There's a song by Common. It's called Go. So go listen to that. <laughs> Maybe there's some significance in that song. Okay, so we have Adoption and Catfish. Adoption, Catfish.
Let's see why adoption and catfish is here. Someone could be using that story so that you'll, you'll date them. Someone is definitely trying to, you know, pull the wool over your eyes so that they can get an opportunity because Ace of Pentacles is all about new opportunities here. Someone's going to use some type of soft story. We have passed away loved one sends you a message. I'm hearing say less, do more. So the message is seeing is believing. We have double date someone wants to go on a double date or there will be some type of double date so someone's trying to approach you to figure out if this is something that you want to do here all right let's get some spiritual message and then I'm gonna close out what are the spiritual messages for Virgo, please. So we have facing jail time and relationship, faithful relationship streak. So someone could be in their head about a relationship. I see you guys coming into some unexpected money that you didn't think was coming your way, but it is here. Okay, so we have trust goes both ways. Some of you need to cleanse your energy, sage, do whatever you have to do, take a spiritual bath. Okay, so there's an emergency that could be coming up in the next few months or something important here. I'm seeing move in silence. So let's see what that's about. What is this emergency about? Why should Virgo move in silence? What is this move in silence about? What is this emergency for July 4th? It's coming up in the next few months for Virgo. What is this emergency and move in silence about for Virgo? Okay, so someone here is trying to get one over you. I'm getting someone's trying to do some type of reverse psychology to get something out of you here when they message you. Yeah, I'm getting this is someone that you could have separated from or there will be a separation. No movement. What's this moon? We have the Hierophant, the Four of Swords, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a cycle closing out here. This person's gonna try to come back. They're very low vibrational. Don't let them back in. This is what Spirit's trying to tell you. Yeah, because they're gonna end up hurting you. So keep focus on this Ten of Pentacles is what we had on the bottom of the deck. It can't get any clearer than that. That's why reckless decisions or behaviors is here. Okay, so this person is calling you back into their energy. They want you to come back to them. And they'll use any sob story to get you back here. So we have hidden insight, and on the bottom of the deck we have later. Damn, man. What is this hidden insight? What is this hidden insight about? We have the nine of wands. It's gonna put some worry or doubt into your head while you're trying to make peace. Ooh. Some of you have a lot of emotions, or this person will be having emotions, or... 
someone here is definitely doubting their feelings to a sword. Someone's lying about uh, some type of spiritual thing that's going on here or some type of a uh, reader. Someone could have got a read on you and lied about it. Yeah, someone's going to need to apologize. Someone could be lying about what they do on the side. Some of you could be readers or are learning to read tarot cards because you don't feel like people will understand or they'll judge you. Yeah. I feel like you're just going to leave that situation where it's at. We got answer me and calling back your power some of you are going to be ignoring this person this person could have even like got a tarot reader to do some spell work to have them to have them come into your energy or you come into theirs and they lied about it we have moving forward as you move forward, this person may try to come back and harass you. And this is going to have your guard up here. This person could have cheated on you. And you getting involved with them again is definitely a not a good mistake because they're toxic and they don't care. And they know that they're toxic. It's not like they don't know. They just want your company so they can take your energy because you have a gift, Virgo. And this is why they're so jealous, because they have never met anyone like you. You're an earth angel, Virgo. And because you want to stay to yourself, it's going to cause some type of argument. So you're going to need to take the risk to get away from this person. Redirect your energy, because you shouldn't settle for them. Because all they're trying to do is um, mark their territory again. All right. So that's what I have here for your current messages, Virgo. Hopefully it resonated. I love doing these readings for you and I love connecting with you all. So if it does resonate, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to go ahead and purchase your roses. Again, the coupon code is in the description box and you will get $25 off your purchase. So go ahead and do that as well, and I'll see you guys in my next one.